Hello everyone! Hello dear subscribers! Today we will play at Minecraft, and today we have a very interesting task to perform. Hi everyone! Wow! I've been wanting to try this for a long time, and now it's time! We found a lot of different blocks of dynamite, and we're testing them all today. Hello, pony! Oh my god! Is it true that today we will blow up a lot of blocks of dynamite? I really like doing this with a regular block, and now we have a lot of them! It's just super! So what to wait for? Let's hurry up! So the first block of dynamite will be a block with a forest! It looks like a very big forest will form in the explosion! Oh my god, what a big forest there is formed! This is a very cool dynamite block that can be used in the ordinary world! How cool! From one small block of dynamite came such a big forest! It is even more fun than blowing up ordinary dynamite! This is so cool and I want to know what the other blocks of dynamite are hiding! I didn't think they would be so cool! Next block of dynamite will be Cluster TNT and very interesting what it hides behind itself. Personally, I am very scared. Oh my god! This is the hole he dug and he's also re-exploding. I'm very afraid. Wow, that was a big bang! And now there's so much free space it looks like it's being used to build big quarries. It was very cool! I really like this explosion and there is so much space! I didn't even expect to see so much dynamite formed here! Just horror! I was so scared of this explosion! But I also really like this explosion! Let's move on to the next dynamite block! And the next block of dynamite is called House TNT! And I think that a house should form in its place! Oh my god! That's what I thought! Wow! It's such a cool house to have here! This is a very necessary dynamite in survival, because with it, we can make houses at every step where necessary! It was just amazing! I really like this dynamite block, but there wasn't a big bang! I want to see a big bang! Now I want to try to blow up one block of dynamite. I wonder what it is. The block is called Biome Buster, but I do not understand what it is. So I kind of blew it up, but nothing happens. It seems to me that it is necessary to wait a bit because all the resources that are stored in this dynamite are likely to download, and Minecraft cannot handle all the units at once. That sounds like some pretty powerful dynamite. Oh my god! That's the dynamite that blew up! Let's move on to the next one! This is very bad! So, the next dynamite block will probably consist of water because it is blue and is signed as Ocean TNT. Oh my god! There's so much water coming in here and it's thought that very good dynamite can be useful in survival. I don't know why it is necessary, but personally, I do not like water in the ordinary world at all, as to me, it is quite unnecessary. I don't know why you, Fluttershy, do not like this block of dynamite, but I would use it very often. Let's move on to the next sooner. And the next dynamite block is called Large TNT, and I think it will have the same effect as the usual TNT, only a little more! Wow! It's not that small a bang from one TNT. It was very loud and unexpected. There's such a big hole! Nah, I would use this TNT only against mobs, because it is very powerful, and you can kill mobs within a radius of you. How cool for me it is! Let's not dwell on this big pit and move on to the next block of dynamite! All right, let's move on to the next block. It's called the Bunker TNT, and I think it'll turn into the same as the house, only a bunker. Wow! He's such a strong house. It's so much better than the last one, and I would have used this dynamite just to protect against mobs. It is really so big and reliable. There are even armored windows, so that no one could definitely get in here. I think this block of dynamite definitely needs to survive. It's finally my turn to blow up dynamite! Now we are going to blow up a dynamite called Cave TNT, which is likely to dig us a little cave! Wow! It turned out a good pit in which you can find a lot of the necessary resources. I would use this to quickly dig large mines. This is for sure the best find of all TNT! After all, it is a very necessary thing to need in any situation in survival! I'm actually very uncomfortable and very scared here. Let's move on to the next dynamite block. Now we will blow up a very interesting TNT that caught my eye. This is Island TNT, which is to make a big island. Wow! Turned out a really big island that is in the air! Of course, very scary here, but I really like it. There is everything for life, even flowers. It's very cool, and I would use this block of dynamite in survival to make a big city out of islands. This block we will definitely leave for our survival. 
because it can be useful in many ways. Let's move on to the next one. And the next block we have is very mysterious and seems to be very interesting. It is called, is it Christmas TNT? I wonder what it is. Wow! Looks like this dynamite block is pretty mysterious because it just reminds me if Christmas is today or not and also adds many blocks. Somehow, I am being encouraged by these blocks. They are very bright and quite ugly. I wish they had not even appeared here and I would rather have created Christmas. The next block of dynamite will be fire TNT. We are very interested in what it is, so we use it. I think it'll make a lot of fire. Oh my god! What a horror is happening! We are all burning together with you. We need to get out of here and get rid of this block of dynamite because it's not going to be of any use to us. It's just going to do a lot of damage. The fire seems to be beginning to subside, so thank god! Let's not panic and rather move on to the next TNT block. We didn't like this one! The next block of dynamite I think will make us happy because it is called Diamond TNT. Oh my god! How many diamonds have appeared here? We are now rich and can quietly live luxuriously and do not follow the amount of resources. I really like this dynamite block and I think it is very hard to do in ordinary survival, but I would love to have it at the beginning of the game because diamonds are always good. Let's just drop these diamonds and move on to the next block of dynamite. Well, the next block of dynamite is called Weather TNT and most likely it will do something with the weather. I think that when I blow it, the weather will change. Oh, that's exactly what happened and I guessed as always. It's a really cool block of dynamite and I think it's going to be very useful in our ordinary survival because changing the weather the way you want it to be cool and we always need it. All right, let's wait till it rains and get to the next block of dynamite. The next block of dynamite is called Jail TNT. And I am very interested in who will this prison be for. After all, it will not just appear. Oh my God, we're locked in this prison and now we have to figure out how to get out of it. And we don't even have any blocks to get out of. It's okay, I have a stone pickaxe in my inventory and now we can all get out of here in peace. And I already wanted to start breaking these bars with my hand. Well, then you have a stone pickaxe, Rainbow Dash. You very much saved us all. The next dynamite is called Mining TNT, and I'm very interested in how it will be mined on an open surface, for example, and then try it in a cave. It is very cool to work on the surface, and we understood its working principle. Now, we'll just go down to the cave and try out what it's going to look like here. Oh, my God! He's digging a very big hole and only digging ore, and he's removing the rock. Okay, that mining TNT was good, but now we have everything TNT on the line. I wonder how it works if it is called everything. Oh my god, this dynamite block literally adds everything to this space. There are all mobs, as well as all items that only exist in Minecraft. It's very fun, but also very demanding. Minecraft does not have time to process all the blocks in this place and looks all very scary. It is interesting to see in one place literally all the blocks, but I think this is a completely unnecessary block of dynamite in survival. Let's move on to the next. The next block of dynamite is called Crappy TNT, and I have no idea what will happen after it explodes. So we just watch. Some strange and very rare biome has appeared. You might call it some very scorched earth, like it's a desert, only a few times hotter. I think it's an unnecessary block of dynamite in the ordinary world, so we're just going to take it out completely. But now we're going to move on to the final dynamite, which will surely hit you. Yeah, yeah, that's the last block of dynamite we're gonna blow up tonight! It's called the Super TNT of Mass Destruction, and I think it's about to blow up half the world of Minecraft. At least I hope so. Oh my god! What a horror! There exploded exactly half a biome in Minecraft, and this is the biggest quarry after dynamite that I just saw! It's both fun and scary! Oh, what a loud explosion it was! Almost stunned me completely! It's a huge explosion and I really liked it! Only I don't think it's going to be of any use in a normal survival! So we finished blowing up all the blocks of dynamite we found today. I think you all enjoyed it today. Today I really enjoyed blowing up the blocks of dynamite. They were scary somewhere and somewhere very necessary. I really like those blocks of dynamite that make caves and houses. Okay, it's time to end today's series. We had a lot of fun today and tried out the new TNT units that we could find. 
subscribers, like this series, and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Minecraft. We have a regular series of buffalo with survival in which we will try to survive. In the beginning, we appeared immediately on the location of the village where we found this cabin. We're still settling in, and now we're thinking about what we're gonna do. Hi, hi! I am so glad we are here today in the game Minecraft. I like it very much, and I really like surviving with you. I am ready for everything today, and I would like to even go through Minecraft and kill the dragon, because I am full of strength and very much tuned to win. I'm sure we'll all make it, and we'll have to do something to survive. Hello, I am also very twofold that we are now playing Minecraft. We've got a pretty comfortable place to live, and I suggest we all stay here for now and get out of here and kill the dragon. I still think it's a good idea, and we can handle it. Only we need to get a lot of resources, namely armor, weapons, and some potions, so that we do not immediately die in the end. Hello, ponies! Hello, followers! Let's not hesitate and let's go get resources! We have a rift nearby and there's definitely a lot of resources there. You can stay here for now and I'll go and see if there are resources there. If anything, do not lose me. I will come in about an hour and bring us back resources. I want to go out really hard and have a pregnancy that doesn't bother me. I'm going to go take a walk and see if there's anything there. This cave is very close to our village and now I'm moving towards it to assess the situation. So beautiful on the street. I'd rather stay here somewhere. Okay, here is a rift in the ground and now I see already iron ore, which we will definitely need to get. To get down there, I will use water. Ah! A few moments later. It's been hours and our friend is still gone. We have to go and find her. Let's not go into the rift she's supposed to be in first. Let's look outside, see if she's walking around and forgot to come home. I'm really worried about her because she's pregnant and she's about to have a baby. That's very important to all of us and we have to make it comfortable. I'm a bit worried about Applejack too. And I'm sure she's out in the countryside because she's a big fan of nature and she's supposed to be out here forgetting she had to come home. She is still a very sturdy pony and she is not afraid of any problems and she can solve them all. So she could definitely get out of the cave because that's an easy task. It looks like she's nowhere. And now I'm gonna run over and see if she's in the spot where she likes to walk the most. Could it be that she could get stuck in a cave somehow? Suddenly, something fell asleep there and she can't get out or she was attacked by monsters. It's not clear. It seems that even at her favorite place she is not, and she remained in the cave. Rather ran there to see if she is there. Oh my God! What happened to our friend? Why is she lying here? It's like she crashed when she wanted to jump in the water. We all know that if you jump in the water, you will not fall from any height. And then it seemed like she was careless and could not fly to the water. It's a terrible thing to think about and undo our survival by killing a dragon. Looks like we can't continue to survive without Applejack. She was part of our team and we have no right to continue to survive without her because we're gonna feel really bad that we just left our friend. Hurry up and let's bury her, whatever it sounds like. It's just awful. I don't believe Applejack could die with a baby in her belly. Now, let's start building her grave and bury our friend Applejack. I didn't think it would all end so badly. We need to make a very beautiful grave for our friend. So now we're going to put the coffin underground and make it look beautiful. Also now, we will put a big and very strong cross so that you can see where her grave is. She will be near our house. It's terrible that our friend Applejack died in a cave because she couldn't jump to the water. It looks like it was meant to happen sooner or later, and it's her destiny, and there's nothing we can do about it, but we have to think about what we're going to do without her, because now we're not going to be able to survive because we don't have a true friend, and we're going to be very sad and very bored. Oh my God, I saw some strange man in the distance, and it seems that he wants to offer us something. Let's see what he wants from us. 
He looks like some kind of magician or magician who's still dressed like some kind of magician. He gave us some strange things, and it seems that we have to do with them. Can he at least tell us what to do with them? Pinkie Pie, what are you? Looks like we need to go to the end and find something. I think we need to collect the dragon breath that is collected with the bottle. Now, I'm going to build us a portal so we can easily get there, and it looks like our survival is on. This magician wants to help us a lot because he feels sorry for our friend Applejack, too. So, now we only have one move, and that's hit this portal. We'll have to come up with something to defeat the dragon because we can't win with our hands. I suggest we make bows and a lot of arrows so that we may win it. We also need to find some sword in this village. So there's got to be some kind of armorer who can help us. Here we are and in the end, and here we can see how this huge dragon flies. The most important thing is that it does not touch us much here so that we do not fall from here because this is a flying island where the dragon lives and all that is on the bottom. It's empty and we definitely cannot fall there. We have no armor, of course, but we were able to find a sword and a bow and arrows in our village and we can defeat the dragon. So, to defeat the dragon first, we need to blow up all the crystals that are on these towers. This is done quite simply and we just need to get there and break this crystal. There will be an explosion and maybe damage will be done to the dragon. They're just so the dragon can regenerate. And we're going to limit that right now. Okay, let's go to the first tower where we need to break the crystal. There are a lot of them and we need to make sure the dragon doesn't touch us because he can easily push us all off the earth blocks. Now we're almost there and all we have to do is press the crystal to make it explode. So we have to do with every tower. I really like killing a dragon, or rather, preparing for that. Now, the next task after all the towers is to gather the dragon's breath, which is required to revive our friend. At least I think so, because a magician came up to us, and I think he knows his potions. And that's why he gave us a portal to the end. The only thing you can get out of the end is the dragon's breath, and there's no more potion to be found here. And now our dragon has very little health left. Our task will be to defeat him, take the experience, and get out back to our village. Because there is waiting for us Applejack, who is now in the grave with a child in the stomach. Hurrah! We were able to defeat the dragon, and now we have a portal to the ordinary world. It is a very spectacular sight, and I am ready that we could do all this. Let's now try to throw this potion on the grave and suddenly something happens and Applejack really comes alive. Oh my God, what's going on? Applejack has really come to life and now she even has a child. It seems that he healed with her and they were able to crawl out together. What a pleasure, I'm so glad to see you guys. Tell me how you're doing. I don't understand what's happening to me. The last thing I saw was a cave in which I burned up in lava. I tried to jump into the water behind the iron ore, but I couldn't. It's so good to see you all again and see what baby I can have. I don't know how he got out of his belly, but it's really cool. And now we can just go on living. All right, we were able to save our friend Applejack, and now we can continue to survive. It was very exciting because we met an illusionist who could help us very much. We even killed a dragon today, Applejack. Imagine! All right, let's end this series. It didn't really work out and we couldn't do it properly. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon, bye. Hello, girlfriends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will not be with you girls, but will literally turn into boys. We will play Minecraft, only we will behave not as girls usually behave, but we will be cool boys who love to do a lot. No love making between us now because we're boys who are very funny and witty. Hello, everyone! Oh my god! What an interesting task is waiting for us today with you! I've always wanted to try it like boys, but I haven't had time to try it all! I'm so glad we're gonna try this out tonight and have a great time together. Boys are not much different from girls in Minecraft, but they are much more serious and committed. Hi, hi! We have a very interesting task today, and let's not drag things out much, because we usually do things that we don't need to do. And today we need to be more serious and make our plans. We need to think about what we will do today to be interesting, and us, and our viewers. 
The main thing is to become very much like boys. Hello, boys. Haha, <laughs> I'm already getting into the role we have to play today. I've already planned all the things we have to do today, and now we just have to do them. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, to extract the resources that we're going to need so much to build our house, which I have already planned. Let's get on with it. The most important task that is required of all of us is the extraction of wood. All boys usually do everything together to get as much as possible of those resources that are very much required in all cases of life. Wood is a very important resource, so we're harvesting as much as we can so we don't have to go back into the woods and cut down those trees. It's gonna be a lot of time, which we don't have much time. It's pretty cool that we're harvesting a lot of wood together, but who's going to mine the rest of it? Are we going to keep running back and forth and extracting each resource separately? It will take more time or I am wrong. I don't understand how boys can do this, so they always have the resources to survive and not waste time on prey. No, you're not right, Pinkie Pie. It is very effective to extract a lot of resources at once because it saves our future time four times because four people get wood. Boys love to look into the future, so they plan everything so that they do not forget anything. And also, that they have free time. When we survive, we spend all our time developing and extracting resources. Okay, boys. Let's not fight and let's get some wood. You're just going to lose your focus and not be able to work together. You fight like girls, and you must not forget that we play completely like boys, as if we were reincarnated into them. And boys, as you know, never quarrel and are very good friends. That's why they get friendly work. Next, let us not waste much time and begin to extract the stone so that we always have it and we can do something with it. I haven't thought about that yet. But very soon we will all come up with something. We have scrambled each wooden pickaxe so that, as with wood, we can get the boulder together because it is also one of the most important resources in Minecraft. Of course we found the cave. It's so beautiful and we're sure enough to have it so that everyone can get the rock in their place and we don't get crowded. From the rock, we will make exactly a lot of stone tools so that all the work we do should be very effective and very fast and not such as is going on now. I believe that we have been sitting on the extraction of resources for a long time and I would already have started the next case, which we are on the plan. We well, I think I'll go a little further so you don't get in too much trouble. In case I find something valuable. By the way, Pinkie Pie, you've noticed that boys tend to build a stone pickaxe instead of using a wooden pickaxe. Boys are very economical and they invest the stone in their work because you need to spend not so much stone, but they get good efficiency and twice as fast the same amount of resources they would dig with a wooden pickaxe. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand at the door because there's gotta be a catch. Boys, you're so good at helping each other. The most important thing is motivation. So raise your motivation because we still need to build a big house. By the way, I think we will build from the same rock to make it strong and reliable. Usually boys like to do such houses. We will now begin the construction of our house, which we have planned. We'll start with Pinkie Pie building the foundation of our house to make it really big and beautiful. Usually the boys, just like us, distribute the tasks of building a house among all. So we will do the same. We're gonna have a little house where the most important thing is to have beds and everything we need to survive. Okay, well, I'm gonna be helping Fluttershy with the fact that I'm gonna be building the bottom of our house, or rather the walls of our house. They'll be half wooden and half brick. This is to prevent our house from being torn down by some storm because the rock water is hard to move very much, so our house will stand for centuries. Boys love such houses very much, but I like the most Monodonous houses. Okay, I'm going to dig up some dirt to put a beautiful wooden house here that will keep the heat in our house and that we have here very nice. The tree is also very warm and pleasant to the feet compared to the ground. The boys don't care where we live, but we can't stand to live like boys anymore. So we decided to walk away from this ordeal and break the rules a little bit. So let's not linger and start immediately to the construction of the interior. Now I'm going to make window frames in our house because they will show our walls in the house, as well as the places where there will be windows in our house. I believe that the walls of the stone are very aesthetic together with wood. So it is not for nothing that we chose this option of construction. 
All the boys know not only safety, but beauty. Next, we should have put a glass in our window frames already. It will make very beautiful windows, thanks to which we will have a view from any part of our house, as well as very safe, and no weather conditions will disturb us. Even though we're boys, and we're not scared of anything, we still have to take some precautions to make it perfect. Like all boys. And the final part, we need to make the interior of our house. It will look like that here should fit all. Boys don't usually think about where to put things, so we're just going to throw them out all over the room. We'll put the beds right under the windows, put a workbench between them, and make ovens on the sides. We will also make four chests that will stand in different places. We have a small village near our house, and I'd like to take some of their garden, but then return it. Boys usually do this because they are too lazy to make a large vegetable garden on which they will have their own food, but not immediately. They like to have everything at once, but it takes a lot of effort. That's why we always build vegetable gardens, so it's ours and not in the village. So, well, we were able to live this day for the boys and even found ourselves armor. Boys, of course, do everything very quickly to rest and it is very difficult for us. They are full of energy for the whole day and ready to work from morning to night constantly. I somehow even envy them and want to become a full-fledged boy like today, only forever. I really enjoyed surviving so much. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed surviving as much as the boys survive. It was quite difficult, but on the other hand, an interesting event, which we remember very much. I'd like to see the boys do what we do. They'll probably pick up flowers and do it very slowly. Ha ha ha. So we really enjoyed living like boys, and now we have finished our survival. Subscribers, if you like the way we survived as boys, like and write in the comments whether this series is needed again. Also, subscribe to our channel and put notifications turned on so as not to miss new videos. See you soon. Bye. Oh, good morning, all. I want to spend today very cool, and not for nothing we have such a big house. Just go get Applejack and see how she lives alone. Oh, my God. What are those scary statues in the windows? Is that Applejack? Why is there so much of it? Someone placed it all in the night while we slept. What a horror. I am very scared. Good morning. What did you say to Fluttershy? Scary statues in our windows? I want to see them sooner. Oh my God. What is going on outside our house? Why are there so many of them? And they are very scary. Friends, I am very afraid. What are we going to do? And if they are real and at night they want to eat us? You, what a horror. Why are they so scary? What is going on here? I am in complete shock. It looks like Applejack is playing us with these statues because the statues depict her only with a beating and blood. This is a very scary sight and we need to take our revenge because it's not the kind of morning we wanted to have in such a big house. Let's figure out what to do. I'm going to run and ask Applejack if she did anything at night because this is way out of line and it's a terrible thing she did to us. Want her very much revenge. But first let's ask what she did and what she did not. Hi Applejack, good morning. You played us this morning putting up your scary statues that scared us so much. Ha ha, good morning to you. Yes, I arranged the statues to give you prank. You like such a joke in the morning. I think you are very much scared. Do not be afraid. It's just statues that I made yesterday. I hope you will not resent me for this. I wanted to do it only for a joke and nothing more, but I really enjoyed scaring you. You girls are so scared. So girls, Applejack did this and she thought we'd really like her prank. But that's not true at all because we've been scared of these statues all morning. We need to figure out how we're gonna get back at Applejack. And most importantly, she lives alone in the house and she's gonna be a lot scarier if we do the same thing. But I think we need to come up with something that she'll remember for life. Of course, we need to make it much scarier than these statues because we need to teach her a lesson not give her the answer in this race called who scares better. I suggest we make these statues live and do something near his house. We need to figure out a way to paint ourselves so we can't tell us from the scary ones like the Applejack statue. Okay, I 
have a brilliant idea how we can make the statues move. Of course we'll be the statues themselves, and we'll need a little makeup. We don't have any gadgets, so we need to sacrifice ourselves a little to make the prank look really cool. Well, we're gonna have to jump off the roof of our house so we can crash on the pavement and have a broken body too. A few moments later. Oh my god, what are we now scary with you? I'm scared to even look at each other. But we all know that each of us is not a monster, but an ordinary pony that got a little hurt after falling off a roof. But nothing, most importantly, the plan to make us as scary as the Applejack statue is done. And now we need to figure out what to do next. Oh my god! What are we with you scary but nothing? All this is done to scare our friend, who decided to scare us a little too. We'll do our best to scare her. I suggest we all go to her house right now and ring her doorbell so that she can first run around the house and meet one monster from each side. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god! This is just a brilliant idea, Pinkie Pie. Now we will have to come up with a plan of action and when we will do it. Applejack has just three entrances to the house and we can occupy everyone, and she gets tired of running to each of them. Also, she must be very afraid of the fact that she is calling from all sides, and she will have no way out of this house. Genius! Let's go get her. I'll enter from the front. You take the rest of the positions. Here we are now, frightening even in the daytime, our friend. I'm sure she will be very afraid of us. So, let's go to the doorbell. Boo! Applejack, go outside. We're here for you. Ho, ho! Applejack is already panicking, and she's very scared working the same way. Girlfriends, that's very cool. I take the door, which is the exit to the backyard, where she has a lot of things and even a swimming pool. She's doing well. Of course she's making fun of us. That's Applejack, of course. Come on, Applejack. We need you very much. Boo! Ho, ho, ho! She seems really scared and doesn't know what she's doing anymore because she just opens the doors and closes in a panic. I'll take the back door, which leads to a great ground floor terrace. I don't think she's expecting to see the same monster here. And this is the final door that's out of her house and now she's completely surrounded by monsters, just like on some Halloween or zombie apocalypse. I really like the idea that we came up with, and most importantly, that this is not the end, and we have another idea. Oh my god, what's going on outside my house? What are those monsters? Oh my god, why are there so many of them and they are constantly ringing in my door lock? I'm very scared and I want to get out of here, but all the doors are closed. Maybe I'm dreaming all this. Maybe I just got into some nightmare. But why do I feel everything and understand that it is not a dream, and I am awake? Help! So we have a secret thing in our backyard that we really needed for Halloween. And it's a rainmaker! More specifically, fireworks, which can cause bloody rain. We use it to scare Applejack just as much. On the day we launch, we're gonna have a blood moon, and we're gonna go set things up to scare the situation. We're just about to start decorating this house with all sorts of scary things so that Applejack, in addition to the bloody rain and the bloody moon, will be frightened by all the scenery she thinks came out of nowhere. We'll do it from each side to make sure it's believable and she can't get out because she's got all kinds of skeleton sets and blued everywhere. So here comes the bloody moon and all the decorations in their place. Our job right now is just to set off the fireworks in front of Applejack's house so it's gonna rain blood and she's gonna freak out. We won't be shocking her around anymore so she doesn't get really sick and die of shock. Fireworks are very beautiful and the most workable very quickly calls for bloody rain. Oh my God, what happened? I woke up or am I in a dream? I woke up from a huge thunderclap and I need to see what's going on outside. I am very scared and these thunderclaps are heating up the whole situation. Oh my God. Why is my entire backyard and most likely the whole house covered in blood and stuffed with skeletons, execution gear, and coffins? How scared I am here. I really hope it's a dream. A few moments later. Uh -huh. Applejack, how we played you so hard. That's your answer for playing us this morning. 
We were very scared, and we decided to make a much scarier show so that you would understand that such jokes are not so funny. And we just want to have a good time with each other and have fun jokes instead of being scared and you, Applejack! All right, good friends. I'm so sorry to you. I was wrong to make such a bad joke on you. I can see now how scared you were, and now I'm too scared to make statues like this, not to scare other people with them. I'm definitely not doing this again. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. We have a very interesting task today, because today we have to build an underground base where we will live. It will be a kind of house underground, in which there will be all the conditions for life, and we will be very comfortable there. I hope we will have a very beautiful bunker. Hi, hi! I am so glad we are back in this game together, and I am ready to build a lot, because I am full of strength and energy. The underground bunker is very interesting work, and most likely very difficult, so we need to do a very good job. We are also pregnant with you, and we need to have time to build this shelter before our children are born. We will, because we are ponies. Hello, everyone. I am very pleased that we decided to build an underground bunker. I've wanted to make it for a very long time, but I never got a chance. And now we can all build it together and live in it. I even have an idea of how to get us in, and I'll tell you about it later. It'll be super secret, and no one can find our secret base underground. Ho ho! Hi everyone! I am very glad to play with you today, and I am fully ready to start building this underground base. Let's cut to the chase and get down to business, because this is such an interesting task. And we also need to get to the point where we have children, because they don't just live underground and need to make comfortable. All right, viewers. The first thing we're going to do is start marking our territory. We will have the entrance to one unit right here. So we need to make a large area in order to make a large mechanism that came up with Rainbow Dash. Here, we will have a small pit, which is five blocks by three blocks, as well as seven blocks high. I think it will be very cool. And now we begin to build our machine. It will work so that we will just have to throw any block to the ground and automatically open the passage to our base. And the subject will come back, and I think it's really cool. At the bottom, we will have a block of mucus in the future that will soften the fall and will also throw us back on the button so that we can somehow get out of here. So we have already made our mechanism to open a passage to our base, and now we will be engaged in making him throw us back, and we calmly entered and left our base. Since the blocks are sticky to the mucus block, you need to put the block that does not stick. We will choose for this stove, because they have just this property. We'll also need to make a small machine. All right, we're about to start building the main room of our bunker. It will be large, so you need to do a good job and dig up more territory. It will be about 15 blocks long and 11 blocks wide. It's a very big base, but we're gonna decorate it a little bit and we're gonna have a little less space. But still, it's a lot of space. Now we are going to build the walls in our bunker. It'll look like a real base. So there won't be a rectangular room and we'll make it look like a circle. It is very cool looking and doing is not very difficult. Just repeat after me and you will succeed. This is a big room that requires more strength and endurance. So each of us has to save it. So we have made a circular border of our base, and now we will proceed to the ceiling. The first thing we need to do is make the lights, so we have light in the bunker. You can keep the torch, but it won't be as beautiful as a sea light. We will put all these torches and embellish them to make them look like big and expensive chandeliers. We still have a modern bunker. Right now, I'm going to do our chandeliers and decorate them. They will each have a beautiful contour to make them look more voluminous. And later we will make a very beautiful connection between them so that our ceiling is very beautiful and not just filled with fully quartz. We already have our beautiful bunker looming, so we are not in vain trying and continuing in the same way, Pony. So we are done with our beautiful lighting and have already beautified part of our ceiling very well. Now we need to fill the rest with quartz halves because it will look like we have a stretch ceiling and look very modern. I really like everything we do because the most important thing is we do it all together and we try to have a good life for our children. Now in order to finish doing our main room, we will only need to make a floor. 
It's very big. It's going to take a long time to make. But it's okay. I've had a very good rest. And now I'll do it alone. It turns out already very beautiful. And I like how our base looks. Now we will need to beautifully decorate everything to make the base look modern and fit for life. Now we are finally starting to build the interior of our house. It will be very big and beautiful. And the most important thing is to do all that we need here underground. Instead of windows in our house, we will make a big TV so that we and our children are not too bored here and they have fun at least this way. We'll also make a small kitchen so that we can cook better and not run outside for resources, then fry them in the oven. Although we have made the interior, but still we have somehow very empty in our database and need to do something beautiful as well as very useful. So now we're going to make a little vegetation in our house to give us oxygen and to look very beautiful. I think this is a very necessary thing in our database because it gives a beautiful interior to our bunker. So we have finished the main interior of the first room of our base and now proceed to build our common room where we will sleep and spend the most of our time. The separate room will be a little smaller than the one we have already built, but it will not be so small. It will be 11 blocks long and seven blocks wide and I think it's more than enough. So we dug up all the space in this room, but now we're going to have to make the interior here so that all the walls are just made of quartz. It's going to take more energy, so we're going to do it one by one. Now, I will just dig up all the blocks that will need to be replaced, and then Pinkie Pig will make them out of quartz, and it will be beautiful, and will be spent less effort on this. Yes! Now, I will build everything with quartz, and our room will immediately be transformed. Here we will make a bedroom and warehouse together and it will be very fun to live underground with your room as well as all the conditions for our life. There are very long walls and high, so it takes more time to build than in the last room. But it's okay and I'm ready to make sure our kids live in comfort. So, the walls of our room are ready and we're gonna start building the floor in our room. It will be made of regular quartz, but do not think that the whole room will be made of quartz because we will not have the ceiling just filled with this block. You'll see what a cool thing we've come up with to make our room look as good as the last one. Just now, I will be dealing with our ceiling. It will be unusual and will look very modern. The first thing we do is extend the columns that go from the entrance so that the ceiling is not an empty quartz. Then we'll make a small hole in the steps and then put a regular quartz block there. This is done so that the ceiling has a small volume. After that, we will place the sea lights so that we have good lighting in the room. Here, we only have to make a beautiful interior in our common room. And just soon, we will have children who will already be living with us in this beautiful base. We have worked very hard for this, and we are about to finish its construction. Here, we will have a large warehouse many beds for us and our children, and we will make a lot of ovens for melting. Oh my God, we finally have children. And now we will live here in peace and survive with our children. They have a lot of fun here and it's mostly TV. Also, we will soon make toys for our children to have fun here and have a lot more fun. Sometimes we'll go out with them to keep them alive. That's it, we finished building our beautiful bunker and we're going to finish today's series. Subscribers, if you like this series, support it like and write your opinion in the comments. Also subscribe to our channel, we are very pleased. See you soon, bye. Hello everyone, today we will play Minecraft and our task will be to survive in this world of Minecraft. But we're going to have one more complication because we're going to have children. Hello friends, hi dear subscribers, I'm so glad we're playing Minecraft again. It's so wonderful. Hey guys, hello everyone. We have a lot to do today so that we can create good conditions for our children. Therefore, we must do everything in a fast pace so that our children live in comfortable conditions. Hi, let's get down to mining, I'm tired. The first step is to extract wood. It is very important to us in this survival because of it to craft a lot of items on the workbench as well as from this wood, we will make our first home in which we will live in the first time. 
It must be reliable to fit eight people, including us and our children. We will also use wood as fuel in the melting furnace. Okay! I'm gonna be digging for a rock so we can have a lot of rock! From it, we can make a lot of different resources, such as stove or stone tools. With stone tools, we are able to mine blocks more efficiently, which will greatly speed up the process of our survival and our children can live in good conditions. Okay. I'm about to get some sand for our house. Ask me why I need sand, and I'll tell you we need it to make glass and put it in the window frames in our house. This way, we get windows that will let the light into our house. We also need glass to make bottles for our children to drink water. And now, we are already beginning to build our first house. I hope that it will be very reliable and we can live in it for a long and long time. I'm going to be doing the top of the house, or more specifically, the pole placement, as well as the connection from the top. And Pinkie Pie will be helping me with this task so that we immediately have a very beautiful home base. Yes, I will help Fluttershy with connecting the poles from below so that we can have full-fledged walls. And I will also make our ceiling in the house so that we have to do very little and we will quickly finish this house. So we made the foundation of our house and now we can start digging the ground to make a floor there. This is not a difficult task because the floor is not too big and we have to dig a little. To do this, I made a stone shovel for myself, thanks to which the earth is more effective digging and takes less time on it. Thanks to this, we will quickly build our house. And now I'm finishing the floor of our house. It must be wooden to make it look much more beautiful than the ground and also to be comfortable in it. After all, there are many insects living in the ground that will crawl around our house and also a lot of dirt will be in our house because of this. So a wooden floor is the best idea. Next, we will need to make window frames in our home so that we can insert glass and look at the expanses of the world of Minecraft. I think it would be really cool to make all the windows single because it would look minimalist and require a lot less glass than you would with big windows. That's a good idea. We have fully assigned our duties. So now I will be inserting windows into our house so that they defend us from all weather phenomena and no rain, for example, did not drip us inside the house. Also, these glasses look very stylish and give our house a great look. No wonder we made such single windows. Well, the last thing we need in our house is an interior. It will consist of four beds on which we and our children will sleep. We will also need stoves and benches, so we do not forget them too. Oh, the most important thing is the chest. Oh my God, we just finished the house and had children. What a joy that we have managed to build them a good home so that they can play here and be safe. Except it's too early to take them camping, so they'll be sitting here for now. We did a very good job of building our house. We are great. How cute they were born. They're all so fun and active and very much like us. The most important thing is for them to become as close as you and I are. And it looks like they already got it. They like to spend time with each other and they will not be bored together. I like them so much. I would like to play with them. Fluttershy, we're out of game time and we need to get out there and get our resources. The children are best left here to be treated. So right now, we must go to the mine and extract resources for further development. We're already in the mine and we found a very large diamond deposit and it's very cool. We can do a lot of things out of these diamonds, but the most important thing is that we can make a diamond pickaxe so that we can extract the rock. From it, we will make a great portal to hell and we will already have a move to the Dragon Edge and very soon we will be able to pass Minecraft. I am very pleased with these diamonds because they are very difficult to find and we were able to find a very large deposit. Of all these diamonds, it will be possible to make armor for all of us as well as diamond tools and we will be ready for exactly hell and end. It would also be nice to make a table of enchantments to charm all of our things. 
Sam! I wonder what's going on with our children. to our children. Let's hurry back and check them out. You can't keep them alone in the house. Oh my God, someone set fire to our house. What a horror. Our children were there, but now they are not visible for some reason. It seems that they have managed to escape somewhere or have taken them with them. We must go in search of these bandits because anyway, they did it. They're the ones the legend goes around in these woods that they escaped from a prison nearby. They definitely need to be found because they probably kidnapped our children and they burned our house down. That's a terrible thing because they took away everything we had. I think they live somewhere in this forest and we need to find their hut and do something about it. Let's start looking now. So, I have some dynamite because I dug a lot of sand and got a lot of gunpowder. Now we seem to have found the hut of these outlaws because they look like them. We need to blow up their house immediately and just as they left. That's what they want for burning our house down. Except we can't see our kids and it looks like they're out in the woods somewhere. So we should go and find them. Oh my God, it's the police and it looks like she's behind me. Don't hit me, I'm going quietly. Why are you taking our children? Oh no, help please, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, find me and save me please, I beg you. Where do you take me and our children? Oh my God, how could it happen that I was put in prison? I behaved well and just got revenge on these bandits. I really hope my friends will save me from here. It's night, and it's time to start saving our friend Applejack and our kids. We found out where their camera is, so now we're digging into it so that Applejack and our kids can escape. Hello, everyone. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. In this game, we found a mode called Piggy and I think it is a very interesting mode that we will all like. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Yes, we found a very interesting and at the same time scary game. Here we will have to escape Piggy Pig, which looks very scary. Hello, my friend. I'm very interested in how we're going to hide from it and what we're going to have to do. So let's get this game started quickly so we don't drag it out. I really want to play this game, so just push the button. I saw this game a long time ago, but I didn't get to play it because I was scared to play alone, and I waited for you all to want to play it. We will not be scared together, so we will do everything to win this game. We have come to some house, and there is something to do. This is the last place this piggy was seen, and we need to go to the police to see if this piggy is here, and we need to investigate the whole case. I'm really scared of what's going on here, and we seem to have been knocked out by that pig. After that, we showed up in some room, and now we're in her house, and the best thing to do is stay out of her face. Oh my God! And it looks like a way out of this house, and you have to open this door in order to beat this piggy. To do this, we need to find the key to the gray lock, power some energy, and figure out the password to this door. Hmm, I wonder how we'll all do it. I'm very interested. Here you can find some notes, as well as go to different aisles. It's probably done to keep Piggy from catching you. We're still walking around the house and we can't find anything. There are also other players running around with us and it is very cool because they can help us with finding some keys and can also distract this Piggy so that it does not run after us. There's an exit to some backyard and there's a small garage that requires a different color key. Wonder what he's opening up. Piggy was very close, so we have to get past her somehow. Oh my God! Someone came up with the idea to climb through the window. So let's go after them because it's just a genius idea. I didn't think you could climb through the windows here. Let's go on looking for the keys in case we find something. Oh my God, I found some green key and hammer. I wonder what better to take. I think it's best to take the green key and find out what it's for. 
So, let's keep looking, because we have to find the keys and the stuff and the green door to find out what's in there. I'm also curious about what's on the third floor, so we'll probably all go there now, see if there's a green door. But first, we have to get away from Piggy, because it's coming right behind us. Ah! So we were able to get away from this Piggy, and now we can safely climb to the top floor! I wonder what will be waiting for us there, because it is so high! And you can see that the third floor is not in the best form. There are a lot of different garbage, and we need to look both ways to find something interesting. For example, I found something for the drawing. It also needs a wrench to fix the wiring. Yeah, the third floor is fun. There are lasers and plenty of space, but now we need a red key. There is a quick descent down, so let's take advantage of it. Oh my god! Looks like we found the same red key, so now we're gonna rush back to the third floor to see what's behind that door. This will be the first door we open. So we're almost on the third floor and we're gonna open that door right now. You have to take the red key and press the lock and then this door will open. Oh my God, there's the key that we needed. Now we need to get down there now to open this garage. I am very interested in playing this game. So I want to concentrate completely on the passage. Let's see quickly what is behind this door. Oh, there are so many interesting things that I do not know what better to take. There are ammunition for some weapons as well as a hammer. But we do not need all this, so we have in vain to open this door most likely. But there's a mechanism here that's probably missing a gear, so we need to find it. So, we found some sort of passage, and it turned out to be a passage to the basement. There is a special safe in which there is a code for the main door, as well as a gold key. I wonder where we'll need the gold key, but we won't take anything yet, because Piggy is coming for us. We will now hide in the vents and go further. Here you can just open something, but there was a gun. So, now we run to find something else interesting. We have in the end a lot, but I would like to find out why we need a gold key. After all, this is not the same key that is the key to the exit. There, you need a gray key, not gold. Everything is very strange and confusing. It seems that players take all the items and do nothing with them and spoil the game, but it is not for sure. Looks like someone killed Piggy and now it's been dormant for 20 seconds. It's time to go up to the third floor, which we haven't been to yet because there was a Piggy. Let's check out that red room, see if there's anything. Oh my God, we found the red cog and now we can run to the garage and see what that mechanism does in the garage. It seems to me that this mechanism will open up some kind of mechanism that will make it easier for us. I can't wait to check it out because I want to quickly pass this game and fully know what and where is in the house. Oh my God. This mechanism just opens the lid in the ground which leads to the basement in which we were already. Wasted time, because we have only 10 minutes. So, well, not for nothing, we were in the basement again. There we found a wrench, which is necessary to fix the wiring on the third floor. I really hope no one's done it before me. So we're going up to the third floor right now and fixing this electricity. After all, I am very interested in where do the laser passages open. Here we just ran to the third floor because it's not that close. Oh my God, someone already fixed all this wiring and we ran here in vain with this wrench. Well, nothing, then let's see what was behind the lasers. Wow, there was some passage. I wonder where it leads. Oh my God, it just leads to the master room? It's a fun aisle, but it's not the end of the game. There is very little time left to think about what we have left to do. You need to take all that we can find because it can be useful in the future. For example, here is a green key that lies here. I never knew why we needed it. Oh my God, someone has already opened the door with the key and activated the wiring, but no one can enter the code. We need to get that code we saw in the basement. I hope he's lying there because that's the last thing we have left to get out of here. If someone has taken it, it is his responsibility to kill us or we can escape. Oh my God, there's no door code where we saw him. So we're just waiting for the players and looking for that leaf in parallel. Oh my God, Piggy is running right behind me, but the door is still closed. We must hurry to run somewhere and need to get away from her. I am very scared. Help someone. You need to run to the second floor and jump to the first to surely escape from this terrible Piggy. 
we don't want to die from it and start over. I wonder if there's still a door there, because I want to get out of here already. It seems that many have already escaped, and Piggy is running mostly after me. Oh my god! Finally, the door is open and we can escape. Oh, she almost caught me, but I managed to escape from it. It was very interesting, and I'm glad we played this game. Like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Bye.